Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Behind the Closed Doors. And today we have a really special one, data loss. We all know it, well I hope you don't, but it's a real problem. And today, it's all about that. They have a data recovery center. That means if by accident you spoil a coffee over your drive, or if you really lose data, they can get it back. And that's unique because I don't know any other brand that has the same setup. So today we're going to go to Amsterdam, we're going to go to the Seagate NLC Data Recovery Center. I'm really psyched about this. So join us for today's episode of Behind the Closed Doors. Okay, we arrived at the location of Seagate Lassie, the recovery center in Amsterdam. So let's go in and let's go to the area where nobody is allowed normally. Hey, we're ready for the tour, but let's first start. What happens when a hard drive comes in in the recovery center? Okay, of course the first step is the hard drives have to get into the recovery center. So we're now in the mail room. <laughs> let's call it mail room. So here are the packages and all the drives actually go into these brackets. And after that, they will get one of these drives. And these are actually new drives where they are gonna do all their magic on. After the mail room, we have to make sure that the drives are bare because you can't recover a drive that's in a, in a housing, right? We have to make a uniform system. So the drives are actually stripped. And this is actually where Chris comes in. Hi, Chris. Hello. <laughs> and here you can see the bare drive and they will also store, of course, your personal items. But everything else like housings or cables are stored here and you will never see those again, of course. After that, the drives are stored here, and then we're up for step three. Now you remember those stories about car mechanics that actually use their ears to listen to a hard drive? Look at this. This is the pre -ev. And Melvin is actually listening to the hard drives to hear if they can recover it. Sounds ridiculous, but trust me, you can really hear it in a hard drive. Is that savable, Melvin? Definitely. Definitely. Awesome. They can pretty much save everything. And the cool thing is, they actually told me just a few seconds ago that these are actually hard drives that already went to another company. And according to the other company, it's a total data loss. And Melvin already told me that even from those drives, they recover a lot of stuff. So you know how a hard drive works, right? You have platters and you have the head and you have the motor and all the prints. And actually, this is an interesting area where they have a lot of these, well, readers. And it depends on how the hard drive is manufactured, what they do, a head transplant or a platter transplant. So look at this drive. This is an ultra slim drive. And as you can see here, they actually know exactly like, okay, this is a drive like this. So here we're gonna replace just the platters or we're just gonna replace the reader. So it's, it's not like they just take your hard drive and they connect it to a computer. Sometimes the hard drive is literally transported to another housing or new readers are placed in. And these guys just literally know from every single hard drive they manufacture exactly how they do it. And that's the cool thing because they actually have Seagate behind it. So it's not a company that only works like, okay, we can do hard drives. No, they literally have the manufacturer behind them backing them up backing them up, you saw the joke, right? So that's an awesome advantage of, of course, these guys. And to be honest, there's a lot of stuff here. And by the way, behind this, and we now turn it down, is a big fan, so that actually makes sure that there's little as possible dust over here. So this is a really clean area to work. Of course, you also need drives in the in-between stages to copy on, right? And you have to make sure that those drives are deleted and are actually really empty. Because if you just format the drive, there's still data on there, which these guys can actually recover. So you have to make sure that they're written over a few times. And here we have Chris again. He's a very important person, I think, here. <laughs> and these drives are all verified to be 100% safe and empty. So safe and empty literally means that they're written over several times. So whatever they do, even these guys can't get data back from these drives. So they are 100% 100% virgin drives. So what's the next step for the virgin drives? Well, the virgin drives, of course, are used for the recovery. And this is one of the recovery stations, and they have many over here. 
So in the front, you see the client's drive, because that actually has a red dot. And in the back, you see the virgin drive. And it wasn't a joke, it's really called a virgin drive. And that drive actually has a green dot. Now, the very interesting stuff is that with the software they use and the serial numbers, it's only possible to copy data one way. So it's never possible to actually, by accident, for example, copy it the other way around. So it's, it's pretty much 100% fail-safe. So let's see what the next step is. Sometimes, well, you just can't do it like just screw something out and screw something in. Sometimes you have to use a soldering iron. And they actually have a little room over here, which is a little bit of a mess, they told me, where they actually do all the soldering. But you have to realize one thing. So, if you want to see data damage on a hard drive, you of course can look at the platters, but then you have to take the platters out of your drive and you have to place them back in. And you have to find where the damage is. Now, if you place a platter back into your hard drive, what can happen? You can have alignment issues, you can have all sorts of difficulties which make the drive well, slower or just not reliable anymore. So what they do here is because the heads actually have to be taken out because they're probably damaged or they don't work, they can actually see with a very, very high microscope, they can actually see where the damage is. So if in one of the heads there's actually a little bit of dust, they actually know which platter is probably the cold print in that drive. So that saves them a lot of time, but most of all it makes the whole process way, way more safe because they don't have to disassemble the whole drive. They just know by looking at the head under a microscope where the chance is that something is wrong. Very, very smart. So this is the final stage and you can actually see that they get it on new drives or they actually end up on the cloud. Now, they just told me that everything they do is actually encrypted. So BitLocker or they use a Mac system. Now, why do they do this? Very simple. If they send the disk out to you, you don't want the mailman to go away with your drive, right? Now, you also don't want if the mailman by accident sends my drive to you and your drive to me, that I can open up your data. So by using a password protected system, they know for sure that if the drive arrives with the wrong client, they can't open your data. If the drive gets lost or stolen, they can't do anything with your data. So this is really nice. And I never thought about that. But when he told me, I was going like, yeah, that makes sense because I don't want my drive to be somewhere where I don't want my data to be. So overall, really, really interesting stuff. Now look at what we found here. You probably know this guy, right? And the cool thing is, Melvin actually told me something that's really interesting and we didn't do that during the tour. They have 3D printers here because sometimes they need special tools or they need something to take a platter out and those tools simply aren't available. So they print them themselves to use. It's, there goes so much more behind this stuff than just recovering data. It's, it's mind-boggling, but it's so cool to see this. It's really nice.